Hello friends, today I just want to talk about integration, which is very important for software architects. So the workflow is like this. Server listens for MT5 to fetch candles, and then your traditional algorithmic trading engine produces some suggestions, some signals, and figures out the current state. And then reinforcement learner produces some action. Perform actions by sending to MT5 and then get new ticket number or current position. And then we zip it with the latest candles. This loop continues forever. So let's look at feature vector. You could add ATR, average true range, average directional index, RSI, MACD, Fibonacci, statistical arbitrage, pivots, Elliott waves. So uh, any solution that you have. There are three approaches to integration. First one is Akka Actor Model. It is coupled with Scala. For example, you're doing some Java code. Suddenly, you jump into Scala code. This is why I don't like Akka Actor Model, although many big enterprises using this approach. The next approach is Disruptor. It is very modern approach. As you know, Martin Fowler uh, said that it is a very modern and good approach. And uh, because LMAX is open source. It is in GitHub. You can find it. It is used in London Exchange. So it has a new data structure. It is a disruptor instead of a instead of queue. But the ideas are very similar to a collector model. But the third approach, which I use today, is invented by Netflix and Facebook. It is called RxJava. So let's jump into Java code. We have two observables, fetch symbol close price, we are, which are we are fetching just all pairs, euro USD, GP USD, Aussie dollar USD, so any pair. We get market state, for example, which state are we in? Are we in buy state, sell state, or we don't have any position yet? And then we combine these two observables with zip operator, which is a kind of uh, Ix Java operator to get a new observable. And then uh, we use uh, analyze using engine. This is where your signal is coming using any tools, any technical analysis or quantitative approach. And then I use flat map because uh, I have a thread pool. And I use only two, two threads because my maximum concurrent is two. You could use five. So I'm doing multi threading is here, and I uh, so I map every pair, for example, Euro USD uh, or Aussie dollar USD to some threads. So although these are uh, taking place in synchronously, but because it is an a separate thread, so it is uh, asynchronous, and we are doing multi threading. And then when you use two blocking, it just returns back to the main threads and give the results. So if we just run this code, you'll see that at first you are in this, uh, you have this price, you are in buy state, but you have a sell signal from ATR, for example, and then uh, you, you receive increased loss margin, another action, for example, reduce it, increase it, uh, so this is the action which is produced by reinforcement learning. And then we just come back to the main thread. 